What's up, everyone? Welcome back to round 14, our Christmas edition. Tony, Christmas how are you, edition. my friend? Very good. Christmas edition. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We made it to Christmas. <laughs> we made it to Christmas. Um, I checked. There actually is a uh, website here in Canada, and you can go on to see if you are on the naughty list or the nice list. Oh, okay. So I punched in, uh, I first, I punched in, uh, Tony. And Tony, you are on the nice list. Oh, and uh, I punched in Timothy, and uh, I also am on the nice list. Oh, good stuff. No coal in the stocking this year. There you go. That sounds good. I don't know if that's a good list, though. We'll see. (laughs) I don't know how closely he's been paying attention. Well, we've got uh, we've got a few days left now before Christmas, and um, yeah. Uh, you know, I just, I, I wanted to just take a minute and, and thank everybody for, uh, their support and, uh, for tuning in and just, we just wish everybody, you know, a Merry Christmas and, and happy and safe holidays, um, coming up. I know we do this, we do this kind of podcasts and, you know, for fun and, and it's a light mood and we try to keep it light, to, but at the end of the day, family is, is everything and important and, we hope everybody's doing well. No, absolutely. And it's, uh, and you know what? I mean, as you know, we're all part of the Rocky land community. Uh, and it is kind of like a little, a little family out there, you know, that we all look out for each other. And it, it's nice. It's nice mm-hmm. to wish everybody Merry Christmas or happy holidays or happy new year. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause you do after a year or two or three or four of knowing somebody on through this world. Mm-hmm. You, know, you do, you become friendly enough with them where you do, you know, you, you, you kind of feel like you know them and you, and you yeah. do. I mean, even yeah. though you physically don't meet in person, but you do kind of know each other. So yeah, of course, happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, it's good to be here. It's good. Good stuff. We got a lot of good, uh, Christmas shows to talk about. Christmas movies. I shouldn't say shows. No, that's uh, right. To talk about that we've all seen and, uh, they are the, the the holidays. It's like I look forward to them. It's the one one holiday film is different than the Halloweens. Mm-hmm. Because Halloweens, you can watch a horror movie whenever you feel like it. Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird to watch uh, a Christmas movie in June, but some do. Some do. <laughs> well, sometimes if you have if you still have snow left over in June, not that yeah. <laughs> we do. Uh, hey, we're gonna but, have a uh, cold front down here, my friend. This this mm-hmm. week we're going into. They're saying. Christmas Day, mm-hmm. it's going to be the coldest winter in Florida that's had in 20 years. Wow. And it's supposed to get down to 30 degrees. Okay. So what are you wearing to the beach that day? <laughs> beach. Right. Yeah, that's how you can tell the tourists out here, you know yeah. that. Yeah. When, when they come down and they're in the pool in January and December mm-hmm. and stuff, oh, yeah, they're tourists. <laughs> well, your your pools are heated, right? Most of them are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's most, right. But you still got to get out. <laughs> so yeah, you have to go into your house or your hotel room, wherever it is. It's uh, it that's feels right. great when you're in it, and yeah. then when you get out, you oh boy, it's uh, you know. But I mean, you know, you, you, it's all it's all relevant. You're up there at one degree. I'm down here at thirty degrees. And, oh yeah, it was yeah. it was minus twelve uh, Celsius. That is Celsius. So uh, what is that? Day. So that was about um, that was about twenty. 25, I guess, for 30, sorry, 30 for you guys. Okay. So that was, and I so mean, see? that was okay. nice. That's, that's cold. That was a nice day, wore a hoodie, wore a toque, um, <laughs> you know, just a nice, comfortable day. Clubs, on the driveway. Scarf, no, yeah. don't be silly. I have a thick <laughs> wool navy pea coat. That, yeah, know, that's nice. Feels good. But yeah, those are the films that you, uh, you watch when it's that cold. And you, mm-hmm. it's that's fun. right. I remember when I was a kid, and some of these are. Are from when we were children, you know, uh, we remember these, these shows and we'll start off the list with the, uh, good old Rankin Bass TV shows that used mm-hmm. to come out with Rudolph and Frosty. And yeah. Those, uh, those TV shows that only came out that time of year and you were excited to see them every mm-hmm. year. Yeah. That's right. You know, Frosty right was, there. uh, Frosty was a good, uh, good one when we were kids. And then when you have your kids, you reintroduce them, um, to, to these classics, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you do. And, and we did. And mm-hmm. we did. And when you're that young, you know, it's that they, they're not looking at, oh, that animation's different than it is mm-hmm. today or, mm-hmm. you know, or you know, the, the stop action animation that they have mm-hmm. for Rudolph. Right. Rudolph, Rudolph was a big fuzzy, uh, movable doll. Right. 
There he is. And they, it was stop action. They moved mm-hmm. him and click and moved him and click. Yeah. And that's how they did, uh, you know, some, some of the films back then. Right. But they, when you're young, young, like when my girls were little, they, mm-hmm. they loved it. They loved it just like we did. You know what? And, and I grew up watching that one with the, you know, look like a doll walking around on the screen. Yeah, the heat miser. And a few <laughs> years ago, uh, a few years later, they, they came out with like a cartoon version of Rudolph and I, Nobody liked it. You know what I mean? They, they were <laughs> like, well, where's, where's the original Rudolph? We want the right? original Rudolph. And I, I only, I think they only played it for maybe one or two seasons and everybody was so upset they about it. They went back to the old one. one. Sure. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But well, it, it, not only is it cooler to watch the original, but for me, you know, it's a lot of the, the memories, you know, when you were a kid, you, mm-hmm. you, you used to watch it every year. You got excited to watch it every mm-hmm. year. It's so different than it is now where you could just search it and watch it. You know, back then you yeah. had to wait for it to come on the TV. It right. wasn't in a theater. So it was fun. Nope. It was a fun little event. You knew it was coming on. You had the holiday specials that came on the whole week before, a week of, I mean, Christmas. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's cool. And there was the other one that came on. And that was a tried, tr- true tradition right there. Yeah. That was, that was 1965 that came mm-hmm. out and it's been mm-hmm. on every year since. Yeah. And, uh, the funny part about that is, you know, of course we're not going to, we never talk politics or religion on this show because that's mm-hmm. the age old, uh, bar talk that you don't ever do. But that right. show almost wasn't, uh, aired because of the little Bible verse that Linus read in mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. They, they didn't want it to offend anybody back then right. or, or push religion back then. But so that's kind of funny to hear that back then. Now, <laughs> you mentioned, you mentioned that, you know, when you were a kid, you it come on every year on TV, yeah. you know, like Monday night would be Rudolph and then yeah. Yeah. Thursday night would be frosty. And then, you know, next Friday night will be the uh, Charlie Brown's Christmas. Yeah. The one thing I'm disappointed and I know everybody has the streaming services now and there's, mm-hmm. you know, we, we pump Paramount Plus on this website and, and we talk about, you know, Netflix and we talk about Prime and. Right. The one thing is they're getting rid of these shows on like regular, I don't want to say regular TV, but regular TV. Like if anybody's. Well, it is. Cable. I mean, there's still people out there that have, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, yeah. regular TV for lack of a better term, but. But it, it will never be like it was then where you got no. excited because Friday night, this is coming yeah. on. Yeah. And again, not to digress to Tulsa King or anything, but that is the one thing I find pretty cool about Tulsa mm-hmm. King that they did not release the mm-hmm. whole season right up right. front. Uh, mm-hmm. I like that they did that. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I get to look forward to Sunday night every week. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it won't be like that, but it, you know, they can still look forward to the holiday. Christmas uh, movies right. and, and shows and whatnot. It's a little, uh, it's a little disappointing though. Like, like I said, though, they're not going to have, you know, looking for Rudolph on Friday night or Charlie yeah. Brown on Sunday night, yeah. but uh, you still well, can get them. Are in, our age, they could, they could create it themselves. You know, Hey, that's you know right. what's coming on Friday. Yeah, no, that's right. And uh, that's part of the magic, right? So yeah. speaking of uh, magic, right? Uh, yeah. Next one up, next we one? got miracle on 34th street and uh, mm-hmm. the original with Natalie Wood. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was remade later and not too bad, actually, to be honest. Yeah. The remake was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a nice show, a nice show, a nice movie. Uh, that young lady did not believe in Santa Claus. And, mm-hmm. uh, those of you that saw that film, which obviously it's, you know, 50 something years old. So I'm, right. I'm not giving any secrets away. Yeah. You know, it was probably, it was kind of cool. It was very cool on uh, the whole film, the way it was done in the, in the typical Christmas spirit. A feeling good. Uh, but yeah, she was a very, uh, she did not believe in Santa. She was a very mature young lady who, mm-hmm. who wasn't buying it as a little girl. And, uh, Santa proved her wrong. Yeah. So it was, it was fun. It was fun to watch. And like I said, the other one, the remake was actually done very well. Right. Um, uh, I forget the gr- little girl from Mrs. Doubtfire plays the little girl role mm-hmm. in that one. So it's, it was a fun movie. Yeah. Um, and then after that one, we have another old film that's right. been around for a very long time, actually 1951, mm-hmm. A Christmas mm-hmm. Carol. Right. About. And there has been, oh my goodness, countless, countless, uh, remakes of A Christmas Carol, right. Muppet Christmas Carol, and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, that movie, The Family Man with Nick mm-hmm. Cage is off on Christmas Carol. Yep. Uh, Scrooged with Bill Murray. The take right. off on the Christmas Carol. 
No, that's the uh, one. Uh, Christmas Carol is is one of our ones that we watch on Christmas Eve. Uh, mm. We have family over, you know, for for munchies and and drinks earlier in the evening. We try and kick everybody out by nine o'clock so we can get in our our comfies and curl up on the couch and um, yeah. Christmas Carol, the old black and white with Alistair Sim. That is definitely one that uh, we have on Christmas Eve uh, when it's just, you know, you just want to have a quiet evening and glass of wine, uh, maybe maybe some eggnog or whatever you prefer, you know, hop cup, cup of cocoa and uh, yeah. Yeah. But like you said, there's there's different versions of that, right? So oh, there's a ton of them. I mean, so there's Bill, so many. Bill Murray, yeah. Bill Murray had a funny Scrooge, take on it, which that was a good one. I really enjoyed that one. That one yeah. was fun. Yeah, it um, is a good one. And then it's, Family uh, Man, right? Family Man, yep. That was another one. It was a very similar story of basically showing you to appreciate what you have. Yeah. You know, um, like in Scrooge, you know, the Christmas past, present, future. Mm-hmm. He was all about business, business, business. And, um, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's not what it's about. No, that's right. And, uh, that movie kind of shows you that he's, he's Ebenezer Scrooge is obviously a very, Mean guy doesn't care about Christmas. Has been working on Christmas Eve, and mm-hmm. and uh, the ghost of Christmas, past, present, and future, come to mm-hmm. show him why it's not all it's cracked up to be. Pay yeah, attention so, to your family, enjoy the holidays, and that's what matters. And of course, so you one, know, he sees uh, that one movie. You know, like I said, one movie, three or four different versions, and it's nice you. You choose which which version you like to see. Maybe you like them all. Um, yeah, well, you well you can because some of them are mm-hmm. so different. I mean, mm-hmm. Scrooged with Bill Murray, yeah, of course, is going to be a funnier take on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Buster Poindexter driving the New York City cab is one of the ghosts of the of the Christmas. It's so it's it's a lot different of a yeah. version than a little more of the serious Christmas Carol in 1951. That's but right. again, they all bring something to the table where they, they mean something, especially like you said, you're, you're watching with your family. It's a tradition mm-hmm. of yours that you sit down and watch that one with your family. Mm-hmm. Uh, so obviously it has more meaning, probably more so than the actual movie, you know, just yeah. it's on and you're with yep. your family. That's, that's everything. So fun stuff. And then after that, we get a little more into the, the, I hate to say newer because some of these newer movies are now, 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We we were laughing about that the other day and uh, the next one we were talking about the Santa Claus. Santa right? Claus, yeah. 1994. I know. Like the first one that was 94. Yep. And it's by they had the three of them mm-hmm. for that one and now mm-hmm. they have a, a a series on um on uh Disney, I believe it is. I think it's it Disney is on Channel. Disney. Yep. Disney and, Plus, uh, I mean, not Disney Channel. Disney and, and uh, Santa he, Claus Tim right? comes back. Mm-hmm. And he uh he's still going strong. So it goes to show you on how much fun it can be. But the premise mm-hmm. of the first one was so fun and so yeah. different. Yeah. It wasn't the usual let me show you that family means something, stop being mm-hmm. a workaholic or mm-hmm. just having a, this one here where well, he's kind of a workaholic, but he yep. turns into Santa Claus. I mm-hmm. mean it's a great premise, a great story. Yeah. Uh Tim Allen, of course, could, you know, make us insurance seminar laugh. He's a funny guy and, and watching him getting his belly and getting the beard and mm-hmm. go into his office meeting in his gray sweatpants. Cause he can't fit in anything. Oh else. yeah. It's great. And you know, <laughs> one of the scenes where they're ordering lunch and he orders just about everything <laughs> on the menu. Right. And, um, dessert after the dessert. And, yep. and uh, it's just fun. Like, uh, it's just a fun movie. And, and it's one of those ones you can put on. They do have, uh, like Tony said, they do have a couple sequels and now a tv series so it's done very well yeah the sequels were the sequels were good too they were fun they, they yep. didn't wear they didn't wear it out i know it's in my opinion anyway mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. the second one of course he was looking for a, a mrs claus mm-hmm. and then the third one you know, you know jack frost tried to take away the mm-hmm. the ability of santa claus from right him. so it was it was fun and martin short of course another very funny oh yeah man. yeah you can't so go wrong the, uh, when you add him to the series yeah, and if, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of ad libbing, a lot of uh improv stuff going mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. But again, it did not lose its luster. They did a very nice job on it, uh, and uh and that's you know one of the many movies that I'm sure everybody watches during the holidays and Christmas time. Yeah. Now I have a question for you. So you're 10 years old, 10 or 11 years old. Was there something that you wanted so bad for Christmas that was your main focus? All year long, and you kept trying to give hints to your parents. 
<laughs> if anybody well, doesn't me, know where I'm going with this. Yeah, well, for me, it wasn't like I wanted a BB gun that could shoot my eye out. <laughs> but in A Christmas Story, it was. Yeah. Uh, and that kid wanted that real bad. For me, oh, it was, right. uh, oddly enough, when I was 10, mm-hmm. it was a, a heavy bag. I wanted a punching okay. bag because Rocky came out when I was 10. And I right. kept saying how I, I I made my pillowcase into a heavy right. bag that I hung in the garage. Right. And I said, I, it's, it, it's just too light. I don't hit it. And yeah. so, yeah, I nagged my parents to death to get that heavy bag for Christmas. Right. But, but the heavy Christmas bag story. wouldn't shoot my eye out. No, so. no. And you know difference. what? And um, part of this movie is his obsession over the Red Rider BB gun. <laughs> part of this, uh, the funny is is the old man in the movie, oh, right? The, and the so, father is so funny. You know, he's got so a funny. furnace that he won't, he refuses to buy new and he keeps fixing <laughs> a car that blows, seems to blow tires every uh, time they go out. Well, can't forget the, the famed, world famous lamp. You right. Know, well, hey, look at Fragile. it. I'm going to show you something so here. It's, uh, look at yeah. that right there. Hey? There we go. There it is. Got my, got the, got the lamp, <laughs> eh? It must, <laughs> That's it awesome. Must be Italian, right? It's, it's of course. <laughs> so you gotta have, you gotta have the Christmas lamp. So. So yeah, um, that that's a classic. And every single year, uh, I believe it's TBS. I'm mm-hmm. not a hundred percent sure of the yeah, station. Yeah, it is. Yep. That shows it twenty four seven on Christmas. So it's funny. And we had TBS for a while, mm. and um, the one year we had it on Christmas Day, and I'm not kidding, twenty four seven. It was about eight o'clock at night on Christmas night, and I said to my wife, "You know what, I." I don't think we've actually sat down and watched this with all the stuff going on. <laughs> right. You saw maybe 10 minutes. It's of this, just been on in the background. In. So, you know, the kids were, the kids were younger and they were, you know, what tired out with their toys. So they, they went to bed and we actually got to sit down and watch, right. watch it. Um, but like I said, it was just on the background noise and, sure. but um, it's a fun, it's a fun movie, right? <clears throat> just all around. You got your you got your buddy in the schoolyard daring him to stick his tongue on the f- flagpole. Oh, it's classic. It's you know, classic. just um, going and to the Christmas And that's another parade. one that they that they added on now to the an older version where yep. um, he is a father now. Yeah, uh, it was just released, I think, on Netflix. I could be yep. wrong. That's right. Uh, but it's a Christmas story. Christmas mm-hmm. is what it's called. Mm-hmm. And he's he's a dad now, and he's yeah, he's, and he's, he's trying to he's dad. trying to create the Christmas. For his, his kids and, right. and, uh, right. yeah, so just, that's, a, just that's a fun. great movie and, um, you know, lots of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of fun, you can't have any fun on Christmas at all if you don't have a Christmas vacation <laughs> with all of your crazy relatives. Right. And of course, uh, Chevy Chase cutting down his own Christmas tree. Yep. I can't even begin to say how, like from beginning to end, how many little pieces of this movie I'm sure everybody could say the same thing. Yeah. My pieces might be different than yours. Mm-hmm. Might be different than the next guy, but it is, it is my family. Yeah. It is my childhood. It is my, you know, my adulthood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit of everything. Well, you know, like so, I said, and I just said, and I'm sure you do too. And, and people out there watching, uh, listen on the network. Um, you know, everybody tries to, to get together with family or you're traveling mm-hmm. to see family and everybody wants this, this Christmas. And he's, you know, he's trying to put this, this beautiful Christmas together with all the family. Yeah. And it's just one mishap after another, <laughs> right? You've got the, you got cousin Eddie who just shows up out of the uh, blue. Well, of course he had to show right? up. I mean, it right? wouldn't have been a Christmas vacation if he didn't show up. No, that's he's right. Not and, as, uh, he's just, the, he's just a disaster walking on two legs. And I, I love it too. When he, when he says, you surprise Clark. And he says, if I woke up this tomorrow morning with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be any more surprised. Be more surprised. Right <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's just, like, all the little details in that movie, what makes it so funny. Like when they're drinking eggnog, right. And of course he has the, the Marty, Moose mm-hmm. glasses that he's drinking yep. out of, but Eddie's wearing this sweater that's white and practically sheer because mm-hmm. you can see this black. They call them dickies yep. underneath with the fake turtleneck. Yeah, and he's got his white shoes on oh, and all those little sake. details that that make it even funnier. Yeah, or when uh, the the grandmother or Aunt Edna uh, wraps the cat. 
No, oh, yeah, right. So wrap the cat <laughs> and up and the box is going like this. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. And then nobody can, you can't forget, you know, the the dinner with the overcooked turkey and he oh. cuts it open and it's just <laughs> it's smoke comes dude. out of it, right? Dust, <laughs> dust. I would say comes out of the turkey, right? Oh, and they're all um, eating it like it's so dry yeah, and they can't even no, chew. It's just great. All those and, details are just hysterical. It's just, and the funny part about the of the vacation movies is that the kids change age. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean they've gotten older. Yep. Like in the original vacation, the boy was older than the, the mm-hmm. girl. Mm-hmm. And then in European vacation, I think it was the same. I'm not 100% sure. It was the same. Yep. Sure. It was the same. But then in Christmas vacation, yeah. the girl is older than the boy now. That's it's right. different. It's swapped. And then back to Vegas vacation. And they then back to- again. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Nobody really seems to notice or seems to care, right? Like it's just. Nobody you're gonna cared. watch this. You're gonna watch this movie, and I think everybody has this on their on their list. Um, it's just, oh, yeah. it's just I, fun, I right? It, I bought it years ago. Mm-hmm. I have it mm-hmm. on on Amazon Prime. I bought it years yeah. ago because it's just a it's a go to come the holidays. We well, cannot... my shirt. I don't know if you can see if I can move my camera here. So how about that, right? <laughs> so the little lights aren't twinkling like another yeah, classic okay. line right he takes it out and he's and decorated Clark's the gone, house yeah, thank you thank he's you, decorated the house and he finally um finally gets it on and and his father-in-law says well the little lights aren't twinkling and that that's the funny part too like the details with that he finally goes and gets it on he smashes mm. the things together and the whole thing goes on they show the electric meters going yeah like this. the whole town went black yeah it's like, no it's, it's just a so great uh, great fun right so and uh yeah, I mean, so it's it, it's just it, it's a classic. A lot of people like it. A lot. Of, it makes fun of all of the aggravation that comes along with the holidays. Yes, the holidays are about your mm-hmm. family. Holidays are about getting together and enjoying mm-hmm. the time together. But let's face facts; it can be stressful. So no, that's make, right. Make light of the stress of the holiday season. Nobody does it better than they do. No, even as much as is when he's at work and all the suits walk or, <laughs> walk by him, right? Because his boss just found out that he got the company Christmas card that right. he didn't know existed, and, and, uh, and they all walk by him, and he's you know Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, you know, kiss my ass, kiss, kiss your ass, ass, kiss his ass. So just just oh, great I fun, like a- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, the next one is another funny one, and another take on a old nineteen sixty five. Movie, The Grinch That Stole mm-hmm. Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this one is with Mr. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Where a lot of people will argue this is much better than the original. Uh, it, it's very different. I mean, the original was a half hour, uh, mm-hmm. cartoon in 65, I think, or 66. Uh, Boris Karloff doing the voice of the Grinch. But this one here is a live action version of it and Jim Carrey morphed into the Grinch. He mm-hmm. became the Grinch. Yeah. The dog, Cindy Lou Who, it's got everybody, uh, involved. Uh, great film. A lot of fun. A lot of good one-liners that I'm sure were not in the script. I'm sure mm-hmm. Mr. Carey yeah. had a lot of leeway with that script. <laughs> well, he just put out, he just put out a post I seen on Instagram recently about people asking him how the makeup was. And oh. he did a face that like they thought it was all prosthetics to make that, you know, the faces that he made in the right. Grinch. And right. That's just Jim Carrey doing those faces. He, right. he so, is, I mean, yeah, yeah, he became the Grinch. And of mm-hmm. course, it's prosthetics as well, but he did become the Grinch and mm-hmm. you know how he is he, with his body language and his, his, uh, his body, uh, movements, mm-hmm. faces, like I said, things that he was improving that mm-hmm. I'm sure were not in the script that they were just hysterical. Ron Howard was the director, a very eclectic director. It was a very, very good director. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's nice to see him do a comedy holiday special like that. But that's another one that is on the list of many people that watch Christmas movies, holiday movies that every year, this is a no brainer. This has to come on. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know if how many people like, do they watch them all week leading up to Christmas? Mm-hmm. Do they just put on a, a Christmas holiday shuffle on the day of Christmas? I always thought about that because we kind of watch them. Leading up to Christmas and Christmas mm-hmm. Day, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, we watch them here and there. I mean, obviously, my girls are a lot older, so they're very busy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, some, you know, we'll watch maybe four or five of them. And then Christmas Day, we'll watch our top three or four all day mm-hmm. long. We'll just mm-hmm. have it on. Like you said, we'll have it on. 
but yeah. you kind of really won't watch it. <laughs> no, that's right. It's kind of in the background and yeah, and, uh, you know, you stop to look at your favorite scene mm-hmm. or something or, but it, but it's there. It makes mm-hmm. the holidays. It's almost to the point where there's so many, uh, if you're going to watch them, you have to start pretty much right after Thanksgiving, you know, well, yeah, in I November. Agree because like when you were saying when we were kids, mm-hmm. I mean, I know you're a few years younger, but you're still in the same generation. Mm-hmm. There was only, like you said, there was only so many to watch. Yeah. Uh, I know when I was a kid, I don't know if they had this up in Canada, but, uh, the March of the Wooden Soldiers with, uh, with Laurel and Hardy mm-hmm. was a big one in my family to watch every year. That mm-hmm. came on every single year and we always watched that one and we mm-hmm. watched Miracle on 34th Street. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one of the ones we'll mention in a moment. And then the Rudolphs and Frosty and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, there was yeah. maybe a five. That, and then, that like I said, from. It was kind of, uh, you know, Christmas story and it came out and then, uh, Christmas vacation and then Santa Claus. Yeah. Once the eighties and they started started building and building and, and then everybody kind of started jumping on board and I thought, well, right. That's when they really started pumping out some other ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but number, number, uh, two, I'm sorry. I couldn't remember what number we're on, (laughs) uh, is, is my all time personal favorite holiday Mm -hmm. film. I watched every year since I was a kid and it's a wonderful mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. I love Jimmy Stewart. Mm-hmm. I love the message. Uh, Donna Reed did a fantastic job. Yeah. It was just, it's just an all around great movie. Con- I mean, I wouldn't say kind of like Scrooged uh, Christmas Carol. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, but kind of the same theme. Like he thought he would have been better off if he wasn't around. Right. Uh, and then to see, I mean, how bizarre would that be? Somebody coming up to you and granting that, okay, you don't want to be around. We'll show you what it's like if you never existed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And to see the little things that he probably didn't think twice of that he did in his life had such an impact on other lives and then domino to who, whoever. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. really a, an amazing film uh, to make you realize how important you really are. And you really do have a wonderful life, no matter mm-hmm. what you think you're doing wrong or good yep. or bad. and. You affect a lot of people in a lot of good ways, uh, maybe sometimes in bad ways, but you still affect a lot of people. So if you, you know, you can't say, well, if I wasn't here, it'd be better. It's not that simple. Yeah. Um, and that's sacrilegious to watch that movie in color. Just putting that out there. Yeah. yeah. We, we put the, um, when we put that up, that was just the cover. Uh, yeah. that doesn't mean yeah, the movies. Yeah, you can't watch that in color. And it's same, the same with the Christmas Carol. We watch it in black and oh, white. Yeah. I know they colorized it yeah, uh, years the, later, uh, but we always watch the black and <clears> white <throat> uh, version. So that's the original. That's the way it was meant to be watched. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of you kids are probably like, no, my God, what's black and white? Yeah. I remember my, my youngest daughter, when we watched the, that for the first time when she was old enough mm-hmm. to really understand it, mm-hmm. she goes, are we going to watch the gray movie on Christmas again? And, uh, it's, it's the grave. It took me a minute to really understand what she yeah. was saying because I didn't yeah. know what she meant. But if you think about it, you know, they never, they never knew that. They never no. knew black and white like That's we right. did. But, um, yeah, uh, this is a, a, a number one Christmas movie on a lot of people's lists. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is number one on mine, but it is a close, close to the next one, which is on everybody's list. And the number one is Elf. This movie, and I, I will go on record. I'm not the I'm not the biggest Will Ferrell fan mm-hmm. in general. Mm-hmm. I do find some of his humor funny. This yeah. is me personally. I know a lot of people right now are going, "Oh my God, come on, Tony!" Because a lot of people like him. But this film, I can't even begin to tell you how much I laughed when I saw this film the first yeah. time. And yeah, I still laugh right. at it. No, that's right. And it's one of those movies. It's like you know, we talked about Christmas Story on twenty four seven, and we we actually have a channel that plays twenty four seven Christmas movies. Uh-huh. And it just rotates, rotates through them. And, um, if Elf's on, I will stop and watch a few minutes of it just because it's, I know it's coming and it's still funny, right? Uh, that's exactly. That's what I mean. I still is. laugh at it. We had it on, actually, it was in the hotel mm-hmm. <clears throat> when I was away, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was on back to back to back at the hotel yeah. for some reason. And it, yeah. It, it, it just, it still cracks me up to the yeah. stupid little scenes. He's, you know, the, 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 the old Rankin Bass, type of characters that come out of the woods to say goodbye to him. Yeah. Hi, bye, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you find your dad, <laughs> but uh, he jumps you know, on the little iceberg. And the funny thing is when he gets to New York, um, so a lot of these scenes, they didn't have extras. They just walked around yeah. the, the director, a cameraman, Will Ferrell, 
Yeah. And he was walking around New York and they were filming shots of this. Yeah. On the streets of New York and doing this. And people were <clears throat> those, the looks that people are given are people just thinking, what the hell is going on yeah. here? Like, what is this? Yeah, well, a lot of people are just for? going, you know, well, this is New York because New York's yeah. insane. Um, but yeah, John Favreau was mm-hmm. the director. Uh, yeah, that's what they did. And he confirmed that uh, that's what they did. They, mm-hmm. The scene where he runs up to the guy dressed all in red. Hey, Santa. <laughs> it's not Santa. Uh, yeah. That was not scripted. That was not an actor. Mm-hmm. Uh, the part where he's crossing the, the street, hopping mm-hmm. and the taxi yeah. almost hits him. Yeah. It's, it's all, uh, it's all real stuff, which makes it even funnier now that, that you, it, it now, does, now it you does. know that it was funny as it was. Yeah. Except but for that he, gun uh, part, that gun part grows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll hope that that was scripted. So, but, um, <laughs> um, no, it's, it's funny because when he, I believe when he first read the script and he's, you know, he's reading that he's in this elf suit and he had, um, reservations, reservations about it. And he didn't know, if, you know, I don't know if I want to do this, but, right. uh, Right. He said himself, he's really glad that he did this movie and, uh, uh, it turned out pretty well. So I, there's just so many funny scenes in it. Like, you know, like you said. Oh, you could go on and on. I mean, the one of the funniest, in my opinion, is when the man announces that Santa's coming tomorrow. Yeah. And everybody knows that scene where he yells Santa. And yeah. Tom, the way he yells Santa, he yells it like he is genuinely so excited that Santa's coming tomorrow and so loud. Yeah. And what's even funnier to me is that after he does that and the guy's still talking about when he's, what time mm-hmm. he's coming, like after he goes, Santa, he's all like, oh, like he's all like out of breath and excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, he yeah. just, he just... and and not only that, I love it when <clears throat> the next day when Santa does show up and he comes up and he says, me, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, because you're not like waving to him. Because you're not, you're not Santa. Because yes, I am. No, you're not. Because. And he, cause he's, you're, sit on, what do you say? You sit on a throne of lies? Sit on a throne oh, of lies. Man. Oh my God. And they get into the fight. Oh, what yeah. about when he was singing too? When he, when he's singing in there and, and the, the, the manager of the Christmas section or whatever. Right. There's no singing in the North Pole. Yes, there yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> he just, he just, just so many he comes out and he's decorated the whole store and, oh and, God, it's uh, so funny. you know. It's just it's just a fun fun movie and um it is and and they, it was a perfectly stuff. cast film too because Jimmy Conn as his mm-hmm. dad yeah he's got that perfect mentality look to him you know he's a serious mm-hmm. guy you know he, he's not into this what are you doing here he's putting maple syrup on everything and he goes to answer his phone buddy the elf what's your favorite color this oh yeah that, that's great you know, so, give me that phone and even the even the you know where they're having dinner he. Brings him home and they're having dinner and he puts the syrup on the spaghetti and he said, "Do you have any syrup?" And he goes, "We're it's having so gross. spaghetti." And he goes, "Oh no, I got some here." And he pulls it out of his sleeve, right? So she goes, "So you like sugar?" And he says, "Well, <laughs> is there sugar and syrup?" <laughs> yes, then yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's just uh it's great. So it's so funny, it's so well done, and like I said, John, it's so John Favreau did a great job with it and just had fun with it and made it for what it was. And it'll stand the test of time. It'll be around 30, 40 years. It's already been around 20 now already. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. It's Long been, enough. it's been quite a while. I know, um, <clears throat> uh, we went on a school, couple school trips when the kids were in grade school and, um, we were in Ottawa, which is about two hours, two hour drive. And we all took a bus up. And then on the way home, you know, they had two or three movies and everybody yelled to put Elf on. So that was yeah. the one that, you know, it's played quite a bit. Um, yeah, for well, I, for young and old. Just took, a, just took a peek real quick, and it was 2003. So next yeah. year will be the, the 20th anniversary. That's wow, it's not crazy, eh? So obviously it'll be around a lot longer. I mean, look at the films on this list that we we've, we've done: 50, mm-hmm. 50 years old, 30 years old, 40 mm-hmm. years old, 20 yeah. years old. And everybody's so still watching around. them, right? So everybody's still exactly. exactly. Everybody's still. Watching and as them. always, I'm sure there are a ton of movies. That people are saying to themselves right now. Where are why they? Didn't you, Where, why yeah. didn't you include Home Alone? Yeah. Which is a great Christmas movie. Yeah. Great Christmas movie. But again, yeah. we just chose the 10 biggest ones to us. Right. Could we have left something off and put that in its place? Yeah, we could have. Home Alone yeah. definitely is up there. Uh, there's uh, Christmas with the Cranks. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Jingle All the Way. Yeah. So Christmas um, with the Cranks. Christmas with the Cranks is, is, is one that I always joke um, how, cause how it starts out with the, you know, he, they're skipping Christmas. They're out. They don't want to have family over. They want to go on a vacation. 
Right. And I say this about, I say this about just about after Halloween when the kids <laughs> have come through and ate all the candy. I said, no, we're, I think we should just skip out. And, and it always works out that you end up having your family over and, of and course. you think, well, how could I skip Christmas? Right? <clears throat> exactly. But, uh, you mentioned Jingle All the Way, right? Jingle so another, yep, another, another one, one where I think anybody that had kids and they, they're going after that present that they can't find, right? Oh, so yeah. The madness begins. So, and that was a great cast, a, right? Especially when it's the present that yeah. is the present of the year. Everybody else wants, right? And the best part about that one, between, he was supposed to get it, supposed to get it months ago. And of course he didn't get it. And, and now he right. can't find it. So, but Schwarzenegger and Sinbad just make a great comedy. Uh, it was, duo. they did a very well, very well done job with that one mm-hmm. there. They really did. So uh, another well, one, uh, uh, another honorable mention is, uh, you know, you could and you can put these in, like Tony said, you could put these into the list. Mm-hmm. Uh Polar Express, right? So um anybody that doesn't believe anymore um and they watch this movie, it kind of makes you think, right? So Yeah, yep. And of course it's always good for the hot chocolate scene. So Yeah. You always got that going for you. No, that's right. So now, no, that was we, uh fun. <clears throat> one's one of the films, or not one, but the types of Christmas movies we did not include, which I am not a fan of, are all these horror Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. Silent Night, Deadly Night, and mm-hmm. you know, all that kinds of I I just I don't know, maybe I'm a purist, maybe I'm an old too old fashioned. I just don't really care for that type of stuff being mm-hmm. brought up to Christmas. You so know, I've never them. seen any of them. I've never seen any of them. So but hey, um, well, I maybe there's somebody out there. The trailers. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's somebody out there that likes them, and I'm sure and there that's is. what matters, right? So I'm sure there is. They like them. That's fine. No, I'm not telling you, you can't. Mm-hmm. I just don't. I don't. You know, there's a difference between making a horror movie about something and then turning Christmas into just this. <laughs> yeah, you know, just I don't know. Like I said, yeah. man, I'm too old fashioned. No, that was but, good. That was good. List yeah, they and, have plenty uh, of uh, plenty of others that I'm sure could be on this list. And, and then, sure we'll uh, even the, even the Stallone shop has gotten into, in, into the spirit, right? So you've got the, you got Santa, Santa hats. Yeah. They got, uh, they got the, the ugly Santa, sw- uh, ugly Santa, ugly Christmas sweater now with, mm-hmm. with Mickey mm-hmm. on there saying you're going to eat lightning and crap thunder. Right. And then you sent me one, uh, something the other day I thought was pretty funny. I was going to add it here. Um, I'll let you explain what's going on here. So everybody knows about the elf on the shelf. <laughs> elf well, on the apparently shelf. Well, see, there's a new, when you, when there's you, a new yeah. camp in town. When your daughters right. are older, uh, you can have a little more fun with elf on the shelf. Yeah. So. You wouldn't want to, I don't think you'd want to do that to a five or six year old, right? No, no. I didn't want them to hate Rocky. No, yeah, they were yeah. already old enough for that. I said, you know what? Rocky's taking this down. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we put a little. Ten black eye on the elf and had had the rock give him a give him a good jab, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, we have a little more fun with the elf on the shelf now. So mm-hmm. we figure we'll yeah. have it now because if we ever have grandkids, we have to go back to the original ways. Right. So, so I thought, uh, I th- Tony, I thought we'd do uh, a shout out, and I'm going to let you. I'll put a picture up here, and for obvious reasons, people are going to see this in a minute. Um, I'm going to let you do the shout out. To someone very special in your household. Okay. So we'll throw this picture oh, up here. I know that lady. <laughs> yes. My lovely, my Adrian, my lovely bride. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, uh, today, I'm sorry, I'm saying the 21st, 1221 is her birthday. And of course, as a gentleman, I won't divulge her age, <laughs> but she looks great just like the day I met her. As hockey, I wouldn't be here without her. So Absolutely. So happy birthday, birthday, Gina. Girls, we have a happy birthday. Yeah, and yes, we want to wish you. Uh, Spy, you know, <laughs> we want to wish you uh, a very, uh, very happy birthday from all of us, and um, I hope you're doing well. I hope Tony spoils you like you wouldn't believe. So there you go, Tony. <laughs> I've set you up now. You you better you better produce something. Yeah, I, so. I got to I got to come through with it now, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So this was good, right? This was this was, was fun, and um, like you said, it's it's really about. Um, time together and um uh getting together for the holidays watching movies whether it's in the background sometimes it's crazy you're in and out of the house you don't realize uh people are you know some people are working through the holidays yeah, yeah right yeah and there's many and years I, where i did yeah i want to i want to just i want to just take time to thank the people first responders yeah. doctors and nurses and and firefighters and police officers that 
you know, there is, I'm a shift worker myself. So there's a lot of um, people that do not get Christmas off. Um, they have to work right through. Yep. And that's just, that's part of the world we live in now. Our world it, is 24-7. I mean, the world can't shut down on Christmas morning and mm-hmm. reopen the day mm-hmm. after. It's, you know, yep. I mean, it's not realistic to think of like that. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we do thank all those people that are out there that are doing their job so mm-hmm. we can have a nice Christmas. And not only that, um, people in the grocery stores, people – um, at the pharmacies, like we have a yeah. pharmacy here, it's seven mm-hmm. days a week. They're, they'll be open Christmas Day. Uh, no, really? Years ago, my daughter was sick on Christmas. We had to get medicine. Uh, I'm grateful that they're open. And, right. um, you know, people well, at the gas I mean, station. You can't predict what can happen, and yeah. you can't have nowhere to go if something that's happens. That's right. So. No, that's right. So it's nice of uh, some of those people to do that for us. Yeah. So yeah. I thought uh, I thought the other thing I'd show you is, is, I don't know if you can see this. I'll move my microphone here. I decorated the studio, got the got the tree up. So That's a good looking can, tree uh, right there. Can move a little bit more. There you go. There we go. I'll get out of the way. So That's hey, nice. So I don't know how Tina lets me get away with decorating the tree like that, but uh I'm well, pretty it's in the so. studio tree. I'm sure the other tree in the other room looks better and <laughs> it doesn't look better, but yeah, she said at least all. it's it's contained, right? So, <clears throat> right, exactly. No, but anyways, um Tony, I want to thank you, my friend. This is um I enjoy the podcast. I enjoy doing this with you every week and um I hope you and your family have a wonderful and safe holiday. Um you know, and and uh a, great Christmas together and and that's important so thank you very much uh, same here same to you I, I do enjoy doing this it's uh it's going to be coming up in a new year already for us so it is exciting but yeah same to you I hope everybody has a good Christmas a good holiday yep. eat lots of food watch football you know just enjoy the time together so yeah the Giants the Giants are hanging in they won again uh, they're in the yeah. wild card so yep we'll see what happens and we'll uh, see. We're, we're getting ready for um the World Junior Tournament starts on Boxing Day, so mm-hmm. we talked about that. I think we talked about that our first episode. Yeah, and um, so the World Junior Tournament kicks off. Uh, it's in Canada this year, so I don't want to <laughs> brag and say Canada's defending champs, but we are. So um, there you go. USA is a, is a major rival, so we should have uh, some exciting hockey coming up. But uh, we hope everybody in. Uh, that watches us and supports us has a great holiday, a safe holiday. And again, um, you can watch us on YouTube. You can also listen to us on last of the action heroes podcast network. Yes, so network. Tony was away um, <sighs> on a, on a trip. And um, so I was just because of the schedule, I flew solo and I was back on uh, it's a long road podcast with Ryan and we ended First Blood Part Two, so season nice. two. So we got to we got to discuss, uh, you know, the end of that film, and that was always fun. So, anyways, Tony, this was good time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Everybody, Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Have a good night.